Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, you know, when someone, and uh, <clears throat> uh, today we will talk about how you can get a good review in uh, YouTube. You know, we make videos and our videos are very, uh, uh, like let's say, uh, informative and full of education, etc. And then, and then you see uh, this girl who is a very, uh, somehow very silly. Like sometimes she say, she say things they are right, but in general she is very extremely silly. So how she can get a lot of reviews for her channel? Well, the answer is in the front of you. I cannot take a video of me taking a shower and even people don't want to look at me unless they are maybe women they want to see. This is how you can get the attention. Getting in the shower and you are naked and you film yourself and supposedly you want to talk about religion. And in the best cases, if she is being, uh, uh, let us say, in better behave she sit in the bed and she is showing her legs and for sure who in the world is going to look at a video like mine and uh, a video like her legs naked bathroom shower blondie for sure people will look at her not at me then i want to ask her uh, are you doing those things because you know what people they are looking for or because you do not know I'm sure you are doing those things because you know that your your legs is going to sell your information. It's going to sell, you know, to be there, right? Uh, it is, it's not you, because uh, what the point, by the way, if a woman, she's trying to speak to us about religion, sitting in the top of a bed showing her legs. Give me a reason. Honestly, give me a reason. Well, what, what for? Are we going to speak to your legs? What is the reason for a woman to go inside her shower and film herself in the shower and uh, to, 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 you want to make a point in the shower? Really? Like that. And now I want to talk about what I would have. You know, that's really amazing. So trying to be silly, but, but simply trying uh, uh, to sell her ideas by, by, uh, uh, by sin, uh, skin exposed, by uh, uh, the bed issue, by, the, by, by, by legs, by hair, by makeup, by whatever. All of this, we can really tolerate. No problem. This is your business. But we cannot tolerate stupidity. This is one of her videos. And, and here she is saying, actually, why I want to say to you what she, what she is saying. Let us, let us uh, see together what she is saying. Let us listen together. Hell yeah. Have you ever watched an eight-year-old dude trying to climb a mountain? That <laughs> shit is hilarious. Okay, so about the commandments. Pretty sweet, huh? Well, the fifth one says thou shall not kill. Yeah, but then you made an annotation here saying unless they're gay, unfaithful, witches, fortune tellers, they work on Sabbath, they don't recognize you as their god, they curse their parents, they hit their parents, they disobey their parents, they blaspheme, they fornicate. They're not virgins on their wedding night, and that's just for women. Just to show how stupid liar you are. She just said, she repeated many times that people will be put into death if they are fornicators. And now she is saying, if a woman she is, uh, she is of somebody who found not to be virgin, in her wedding night she will be put to death. You see how silly stupid you are? If you already you mentioned that if the fornicators they will be killed fornicators doesn't matter if they are males or females now in the case of the women in her wedding night you idiot huh? there is no other fornicator we do not know who is he or what we know now what we found out that this woman she is doing fornication and the proof she's a virgin so simply this law complete the other law which says fornicators so you see how silly stupid you are when you say, and by the way, this is only for women. <laughs> how we will find out in a wedding night of a man that, that he, is, he is a fornicator. He, he lost his virginity. You see how smart you are? <laughs> Stupidity, no problem. You know, by the way, if you want to fix your Microsoft Word the document, you can wipe out the screen because that will correct your mistakes in here, right? But let us see what she is making fun of and sh show people how stupid uh, 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 some Christians, by the way, don't like me to say the word stupid. No, I like, I love to say it. Because stupidity is stupid, doesn't matter. The Bible says those who call his brother, which means somebody, he is intelligent. Somebody, he know the Lord. Somebody, he appreciate. Those who don't appreciate the Lord, they are stupid. And the Bible speaks about their foolishness. So I'm not using the wrong term. 
Now, when the Bible says uh, uh, the punishment for fornicators is death, uh, and the Bible says don't murder, and you are saying, well, it says uh, kill the fornicators, uh, kill the gays and the lesbians, uh, even the ones who insult their parents. So let us analyze one by one. When the when the Bible says the punishment for fornicators is death, is that because this God is uh, angry? Is that because this God is crazy? Uh, is that because this God is weird? He's saying stupid things. Or that is going to be for the benefit of the society. As an example, go and find me what is the reason today for a very, very high average of divorce. And why actually even marriage is getting to be less and less and less. And I, I believe one day nobody want to get married no more. Why? Because fornicators, and that destroy families, and that increase the crimes, and that increase you know all all kind of uh, uh, unstable a human. And I believe you yourself, you are unstable a human because of that. Look at you. I believe you are living by yourself. You don't have a family. Nobody visit you. Huh? Nobody knows even who your father. Because as long as you are from, a, from an atheist family, as I understand, it's mean your father, he sleep with whoever, and by accident, he have you. So do not know, know even who is your father. And that is that a healthy thing for the family? Is that a healthy thing for the society? Or that is going to cause a damage to you as a child, and later to you as a growing person? Go and study any philosophy book, any doctor's book, any university book, and they will say to you, the best way for a child to grow up is in a family not in a divorced family, not in a single mother home or single mom home, as they call it. So this is all for the benefit. So when the, when the Bible makes such a law, it says that if you do such a thing, you are going to be killed. That before you do it, not after, which means don't do it. The punishment is made to prevent, to, 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 to prevent the issue, not because God enjoy your death. It's for the benefit of the society. We move to something else. Gays and lesbians. A society full of gays is a destroyed society. You know, uh, uh, Muslims, they vote for Obama. And Muslims are against gays and lesbians. So how do they vote for Obama then? Very simple. Because they know that if, if Obama make that legal, that will increase the number of gays and lesbians, will make it more popular, and many more and more and more people will practice it, and that will destroy uh, America. Make a finance, you know, let's say, don't, don't forget about religion. Forget about morality. Make a, a, just a, a, a study of numbers. You will find that the population of a nation would decline to zero if the nation turned to be a gay and lesbian. Very simple. It's not, you don't need to be genius. Women and women, they cannot have kids. Men and, women, and a man, they cannot have kids. And not only that, look at this. I, I, I made one of the studies in my, while I was doing my master's degree. Uh, about gays and lesbian. Now, for me, I did prove that this is absolutely wrong, not by using the Bible, because those people in schools, they don't believe in the Bible, right? And uh, teachers, they, 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 don't, they won't allow you to use, uh, a, you know, language of religion or term of religion. So, uh, how you can prove to them that this is wrong? Very simple. The one who, do, who pay for your retirement when you are old is a kid, is not born yet, or maybe is born yesterday. Because when I am 60, 70, today I'm paying for somebody is 60, but when I am 60, 70, 50, you know, 75, a child who is not born yet is going to pay for my retirement. You think government, they take money, they put it in the, in, in the, in the cupboard, and then they give it to you back? No. The money they take from you, they spend it right away. They, the, 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 the hope is that somebody tomorrow is going to be working and he is going to pay tax and that tax will be spent over you. So gays and lesbian is simply a perfect destruction to any society. What the Bible is doing, instead of destruction, the whole society is destruction those who are going to destruct the society. It's what the Bible is doing. And you are comparing a law, which has existed 4,000 years, by the way, preventing gays and lesbian to be exist even if they are exist, which means uh, maybe somebody in his mind, he, want, he loved to be gay. But, but he cannot really practice it. He cannot destroy the society. And not only that, according to scientific studies, 
gays and lesbian they are the fastest people to die which means they are the youngest people to die by sexual diseases they have all the sexual diseases exist in this earth i'm not making things up you know just to search use the internet so it's absolutely wrong and the bible is saying it's very wrong and the bible is saying the punishment is death you don't want to follow the bible don't follow the bible and that is a society of people who they are volunteer to be belong to god as an example somebody will say to me what do you mean volunteer well you can you can leave this is the kingdom of the jews you don't want to be a jew leave it go and establish a kingdom of gays you know make a flag draw an ass in it and says uh, ask me may allah ask you that's it or make a flag it says uh, finger me please if that will make you happy this is a law for the believers who they agree with it they, nobody is forcing them no one is forcing you know you are in agreement otherwise you leave you leave the society don't live in that city don't live in that town all of jerusalem is just a city have four doors and you leave them in the morning or you know go nobody will stop you go don't tell them anything you know just leave i'm, I'm going on a business trip and never come back go immigrant to, a, to where you can establish your gay uh, uh, kingdom now we go to the other issue <clears throat> insulting your parents i guarantee you that a woman like you when you have a child from somebody sleep with you overnight you do not know who is the father of that child when he grow or she grow she is going to call you the f word because you are saying that that is okay should not be punished the bible says no this is not that's absolutely a big crime and that is not for the benefit of the parents this is for the benefit of you as a child too and i will tell you why today i am a child tomorrow i'm a parent so what the bible is doing is establishing a society of respect not like today you see people saying the f word like you if we listen to your videos tons of your videos you say the f word every five seconds why i will tell you why because you grow up in a filthy family you cannot maintain your mouth without using the word f every few seconds what the fuck are you talking about bitch i never molested any damn kids this is the language see this is the language the language of legs the language of uh, you know you cannot maintain your mouth because simply you grow up in a family and i guarantee you that where people don't respect themselves because those who don't respect their parents they will never respect anyone if i cannot respect my parents the one who take care of me when i was a child the one who cleaned my poopoo when, when i was i was a baby how i'm going to respect anyone in the world so what the bible teach that it's a crime to disrespect the elders and that is absolutely healthy for every society is imagine how beautiful to see a teenage respecting a woman she is old he stand up in the bus he gave her her seat his seat this is beautiful but for a crazy low class trash people like you that is bad christ is lord and people like you are the trash of the society and trust me one day you will find how you are saying yourself in the wrong way and how you are thinking of the wrong to be right and in the right to be wrong and then you will find yourself really lost because it's not going to take you long before you find that truth that you are extremely extremely lost stupidity is a sign of this world and dirty mouth prove that you are smart today showing legs it's mean you are intelligent sitting in the bed it's mean you are genius having makeup it's mean you are beautiful and that all proved to me that you have nothing to say except getting attention by legs and dress and hair and lips and even taking a video of yourself in the shower what is left we are building a religion we are building it bigger we are widening the corridors and adding more lanes a very old book that does well what is left you tell me follow with me guys with more videos christ is lord spread the video all over don't forget to tell your friends to if they want to learn about islam to read my book that deception of allah and you can find it on amazon.com in paperback and in kindle thank you very much bye, -bye.